Growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it, man. We bring you the legendary people in the city, the legendary artists, the icons, and everything in between. And uh, you know, you know how we do it. Everybody out there, you know what the time it is. You know what I'm saying? Take out your rolling trays and everything and roll up and get get blow with me. You know what I'm saying? But today I got a special, 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 special guest in this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? What 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 we say? Hold on, what on? Hey, represent. Name of your hood, that was it. Ag Town, Ag Town, that word, Funky Town, Funky Town. Shout out to my boy. <laughs> yeah. Shalo, man. What's up, man? We in this thing. Bro. We in this motherfucking thing, man. For the people who out there don't know, man, shit, I got motherfucking DJ Wild here in the building, man. You know, you know what I'm it, man. I'm yeah. in this thing, man. Yeah, man. You in this thing, man. For the people out there that don't know you, please tell them who you are and where you from one more time. Man, I got a long history of everything, yes. man. So, as he say. I'm an icon of Dallas Fort Worth, you know what I'm saying? I represent it strongly. Um, I manage a lot of things, so the base the base of everything now, currently, I'm Bubba Dub manager, so from there, Twisted Black, Sean on the Beat, uh, Young Star, Mr. Lee for a certain time. Just a lot of things, man. Just 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 trying to keep money in the community is what I do. Man, man, what was the start? Let's let's just bring it back. Like, what would inspired you to start being a DJ, or is it was something you would always want to do besides being a DJ? The reason why I became a DJ is because I used to be the first promoter ever, the first promoter ever. Um, no one ever was promoting. The club was doing bad, and the guy named Erskine, rest in peace to DJ Wody, um, pretty much DJ he Wody. he put me on to the game of promoting. I was a gang banger. He really changed my life. When he changed my life, I was the guy that had the rims and the and the different type of cases of CDs. Right, right, right. So right. when I had those cases of CDs, I always used to jam before I get to the club. And when I be at the club, I be the first one on the dance floor because I know I'm gonna make some money at the end of the night. <laughs> right, cause you gonna sell out. I'm gonna turn out. I'm yeah. gonna turn up. So pretty much, Hootie Who was like a a frat within a frat. Right. But we didn't go. To, I mean, we went to college, but. We even tried to get it, you know what I'm saying, original. But the Capitals, q Dog, they didn't like it. Yeah. It was a new frat, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So we had beef, even though we did shows with them. But the, the reason why I started DJing is because the DJ didn't show up. Uh, we had a Louisiana DJ. He didn't show up. So they was looking at what we going to do. Mm -hmm. I, I got all my CD books, took them to the CD a player, and I just started playing music. And I... I mean, so you I, didn't know how to scratch or nothing? You just knew how to just play them? I just knew how to play them. Yeah. And I did that for several years knowing it. And I did so good that, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, the other DJ, they stopped hiring him. They hired me. Mm -hmm. So this in the midst of uh, Midpoint turning to Players Club. Midpoint. And then Players Club, they took me to Steppers. Mm. And that's when I learned, I prayed to God, hey, this is what you want me to do, this is what I'm going to do. Right. Pray to God. Then I just became a beast. They had Rock T for the radio. He, he used to close. Yeah, Rock I used T. to open up for him. Then it was just me. Rock T wasn't no more. It was just me. I rocked the crowd with Tum Tum, um, Paul Wall. Big Hawk was my homeboy. Well, rest in peace, rest Big in peace Hawk. Big Hawk. Big yeah. Hawk was like, Nigga, he like we would fit to do the first mixtape. He would put me on game, but man, uh, Slim Thug, Little John, Yin Yang Twins, Mystical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, like I was the I was the record breaker. Right, right. And, and that, I didn't know how to scratch. I didn't know how to mix. What? I didn't know how to do none of that shit. I just knew what to play. And by me knowing what to play, it had the crowd. I'm talking about one in Steppers. That was my stepping stone to a point where the whole crowd dance. It's right. nothing like right now what the clubs do. It's it's certain people that dance. Right. I had the whole club rocking. Right. 
What 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 you think that transition? How did it transition from the whole club dancing to now that everybody just wild potatoes or cash cash potatoes? Because <laughs> it's too much pride right now. Right. Like the internet give people too much pride. Right. Give them too much ego. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And it's too much of a voice. There's too many people speaking with with a voice that ain't did nothing, no experience. Right, right, right. Nah, so, like, what? Who who started teaching you, or where do you start learning to scratch and, and start really? I was that? into street yeah. shit, yeah. 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 hustling yeah. out of Grand Marquis yeah. Caprice. Yeah. Caprice. Yeah. People yeah. always yeah. told me I yeah. wasn't gonna yeah. be shit, yeah. but yeah. I always yeah. knew that yeah. I would yeah. be.